off the week. We are back now with the cast of Fuller House. Hard to believe that they are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the fan favorite original Full House. And now we're gearing up for season three of the new series. It's great to have Candace. It's great to have Jody. It's great to have Andrew. It's great to have Jody. It's great to have Paul. All of you here with us. Come on now. 30th? 30th yeah. anniversary? Yeah, they were, they, they were, she was, these two were nine. How old were you? I was five. Oh, we weren't wow. even born. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is that 30 years old? Yeah. Yeah. Where does the time go? It, it's really interesting. And then going back there, it just happens all over again. But she's taken over the reins as the uh, clean, neat freak in that family. Yeah, uh -huh. happily. And she's uh, taken over the reins of, uh, I don't know. Sort of, sort of the Uncle Jesse fun musician a little bit wild aunt character. And she's yeah. kind of turned into Dave, which is, uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry. But not, not, not as stinky, though. <laughs> not as stinky as Dave. No, well, that's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. Let's give everybody a sense. Here's a little sneak peek of season three. Would you just admit defeat, Team Steve? All right, she has found her perfect match in dreamy Dr. Matt. He is pretty dreamy. In fact, I had a dream about him last night. We were folding laundry, if you know what I mean. <laughs> tell me more. What? There's nothing more to tell. We were literally folding laundry. And Candace, congratulations, Teen Choice Award. Thank you. Yeah. Very much. I never thought in my 40s I'd be winning the Teen Choice because I didn't win one as a kid, but it's great. It gives me some cred with my own teenagers. Does know? it really? Yeah. But that has to make you feel good. Oh, knowing. it feels incredible. We, I, it's a, such a testament to our fans mm -hmm. who've been with us for 30 years who love the original show and watching Fuller House now, but to know that there's a whole new generation that is loving the new show and the old show yeah. is just, it's, yeah. it makes and us so happy. We're so grateful. And to have, I mean, we got, we, we won the Kids' Choice, the Teen Choice, and People's Choice Award, which wow. was a huge, yeah. I mean, that was amazing yeah. for us and just such a, well, a real honor. I, yeah. I, I actually, <laughs> I'm excited. I won the Tasters Choice Award, which is instant <laughs> coffee. Because <laughs> as you get older, you want it to be quick. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even flinch anymore. You've heard them all, Dave. You've heard yes. them all. Yeah. Well, we've known, I've known Bob since I was 18 years That's old. That's what we told really? the judge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was 22. We met in the comedies clubs. That's true. And That's then true. John Samos can't be here. He's on tour with the Beach Boys. Oh, yeah. we're going to hear from him. He sends love. Yes. I know he's actually. I know. We, we have a little message from yeah, him. Yeah, I heard. But we learned some. We're gonna finally meet your family. No, we're gonna finally see the Gibbler house. Yeah, that's what yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no family in it anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Gibbler, and yes, maybe Jimmy right. Gibbler shows up. But um, yeah, I've been wondering what this place looks like for 30 years, and uh, <laughs> it's even weirder than I could even imagine. <laughs> really? Yeah. There are a lot of little Easter eggs when you watch that episode. That we put a lot of uh, old things in that house that we don't point out. But if you look yeah. carefully, there's lots of fun yes. little Easter eggs for the old fans to appreciate. Wonderful. Because we've all imagined what that house must look like, and now we're going to get to see it in, in season three. Yes. You guys were in Japan, and um, I hear that uh, karaoke. Um, yeah, this is going to you, Jody. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> you can yes. build out a tune? Uh, I mean, I don't, I won't. She's I, awesome. <laughs> she can sing, okay? Yeah, I mean, we had fun. I, I went karaoke like three times when I was there. I went, with Candace and I, went, and, and Scott Wenger went one night, and then uh, we went I, another time, and then I took I Juan Pablo and John Brotherton. I went out another night, and then I went out with um, our, our PAs from Japan and, and Jeff Franklin. Of, a lot of dudes. Yes. <laughs> That's a lot. Of, Thanks, Bob. Kind of, kind of parental. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was it was really fun. And if you're gonna do karaoke, you have to do it in Japan. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Cut it out. Let's we'll see where you went there. Yeah. So, right, so yes. now that catchphrase, because I love all the catchphrases for, from everyone, but you kind of. You borrowed it. I'm not going to say you stole it from a friend. Let's well, say you I did steal it, it from okay. a friend. Right. Exactly I was trying to be right. nice. <laughs> I stole it from my friend Mark Sandrowski, who's been uh, my best buddy since I was nine years old. And Mark directs the Big Bang Theory mm -hmm. TV series. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> yep. and he directed a couple of Fuller Houses. Yeah. He directed a couple of, of this, uh, this show as well. And so uh, I stole it from Mark. Uh, we were a comedy team for about a week. That's how <laughs> good we were. <laughs> for a week. And he used to do this Mark Suave character where he would unbutton his shirt and he would go up to a lady in the front row and he'd go, I know what you're looking at. Now cut it out. <laughs> 
And I told him, I said, I'm totally going to steal that. And to this day, he says, you still owe me for that. <laughs> and it actually became the catchphrase for the brosectomy company. Yeah. <laughs> see how I did that? I see what you did there. Nice one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we just went full circle. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's a drop the mic moment. <laughs> oh. But the other, you got it, dude. That was the other catchphrase, and a lot of people are wondering: Are we going to see Michelle? Are we? Someone to spill the beans? Are we? I think you're gonna see beans. That's about it. <laughs> You guys are good. They're not even looking in my eyes right now. They're looking off. <laughs> well, you're a very beautiful woman. It's oh, I thank you, Bob. I thank you. But we do have that I message. That I know you got out of it good. I had to ask. John Stamos. You said it. He's with the Beach Boys yes, right he now, is. but he has this message. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. We're in San Francisco, and, <laughs> and nobody's around to see us. No, nobody's here. 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 We were shooting a promo here, and then Bob was supposed to stop, and he just kept going. Nobody, we, we just drove all around. Nobody even recognized us. <laughs> that is not true. I remember Bob was driving, and he was like, "Should I stop?" I said, "No, let's go. Keep going." I said, "All right," and we just kept driving around. I, I should not be driving a car with these people. No. <laughs> no. You, know what, you know what's so wonderful? It's so genuine. You can really tell is. that you all have such love and respect for one another, and it's an act. It's all <laughs> No, we That's really, we, we really do love each other. <laughs> That's how, do, right. how do you all do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they bail you out when you forget your lines, okay? They I might bail me out for real ones. <laughs> <laughs> the new season of Full of Health for Men. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.